Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here with Switch Adapted Toys and today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your own switch button top to either have an image or some text printed on it. Uh, really, you can customize it however you want. So, if you like this video, if you find it helpful, make sure you hit the like button and hit subscribe to stay up to date on all our latest videos. We've got a new Mega Switch coming out soon, so if you hit the bell notification, you'll be notified when we uh, post that video. Uh, and if you're new to Switch Adapted Toys or you just stumbled across us, uh, we're a 501c3 nonprofit organization and our mission is to make play possible for kiddos of all abilities. We do that by creating free resources that teach people how to take toys off the shelf and essentially rewire them to make them more accessible for kiddos with disabilities, mainly by using external switches like the ones we're going to print the top four today. And we want to say thank you to everyone who's supported Switch Adapted Toys. Uh, we can't make these free resources without your support, so it really means a lot to us. Thank you so much. And if you want to find out more, you can visit our website at www.switchtoys.org. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make an image and how to make text, and I'm going to show you how to either make it raised up off the surface or flush with the surface uh, for both. So uh, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and we're just going to get right into it. Now you will need to get our files somehow and you can get them off of our website. Again, it's switchtoys.org. You can also download them from Maker World. But you're going to need the 3MF file. And I've got the, our standard switch file here. If you open it up, uh, you can see our, our switch top is over here on this build plate. So I'm going to kind of select it and kind of move over and center it. Uh, let's start by doing some text. Now I should say that uh, this really only works if you have a 3D printer that can print in multiple colors. If you have a Bamboo Labs printer, that means you've got the AMS. Um, you could, I guess, in theory, print this one here that's got it kind of raised up uh, in the same color, but it's just not going to be as visible. So if you want something that's super high visible like this, you're probably going to need a printer that can print in multiple colors. And also too, this process can be applied to any of our switch buttons. This doesn't just apply to the standard switch like I'm doing here. Uh, you could do it on any one of our switch options. So. Uh, we've got our file loaded into uh, Bamboo Studios. That's the slicing software that we use. Uh, if you have Orca Slicer, Bamboo Studios is basically built off of Orca Slicer. So you're, this should be very similar to uh, how it would work for you. But I'm going to show you how to do it inside of Bamboo Studios. So if we go over here to our side panel, you want to make sure that objects is selected. And we're going to go down and we're going to hit uh, our switch top button. So I'm going to show you how to do this button right here first, the text that's kind of raised up. So in order to do that, we're going to go up here to the top panel and we're going to hit text shape. And this is where all the settings live uh, for your text. So if I go in here and I, I just want to make the same exact button. So I'm going to write press and I can kind of put it here on my switch top. All right, so you can, a lot of settings we can change here. Uh, the, the font, they got a bunch of different fonts. Uh, I was using Impact. So let's just make the exact same switch. And you can see the text is a little close. You can change uh, the spacing of the letters using text gap. Now this prints basically directly on the surface. And what I have found is sometimes these letters, especially if you're printing really small letters, uh, can be easily broken off. So in order to kind of combat that, what we're going to do is actually embed the letters slightly into the surface of the switch. So that's what this embed depth is right here. Now our layer height is set at 0.16 millimeters. That's every layer that the 3D printer prints is 0.16 millimeters. So we want a multiple of that. So if I just do two layer lines worth, that would be 0.32 millimeters. All right, so we've got that. Now you can adjust the thickness of your text right here. A two is probably fine. I'll just go down to one. 
If your text is not perfectly centered, what you can do is go over here to the side panel and right click and hit center. Uh, mine centered, so it's kind of cleared out. But what that will do is it'll center it on the center of the build plate. So as long as your switch button has been centered in the center of the build plate, your text will be centered on the switch button. Okay, so this is great, except uh, it's all being printed in red right now. So I can change my filament type over here. Now your colors, if you've got different colors loaded in your AMS, they might be different. You can just change the colors here and you can change the filament type and all that. Um, but basically I'm gonna select this to be printed in black. All right, so now if we hit slice, we can see that it's being printed and it's slightly above the top of the switch and it'll be embedded just slightly. So that's how to do that. So what do we do if we want the text to be flush with the top? Well, what we can do is go back over to our side panel and right click our text. And then you go down to change type and you're gonna change it from part to modifier. That basically means everything that's inside the text is gonna have different settings than the rest of the switch. And for us, that's gonna mean a different filament type. So we're gonna change it to modifier. And we also need to change our embed depth because right now we're only two layer lines deep, uh, which might be fine, except if you're printing with like, uh, with maybe like a white, sometimes the colors can kind of bleed through a little bit. So we want to kind of extend that down. So if we go back into our text shape and then change our embed depth, let's just double it. So this will be uh, four layer lines deep. This would be 0.64 millimeters. All right, and just make sure that your filament color is still selected to black. And then you can go ahead and hit slice. And you can see that the, uh, the text is now flush with the top and we can use this slider here to kind of see a different depth. You can see that uh, four layers down, it basically starts uh, generating. So that's exactly what we want. And in an hour and 35 minutes, we'll have our switch button that says press. All right, so now let's talk about uh, printing an image on a switch button. Now, uh, you can only do this with an SVG file. You can't use a JPEG, you can't use a PNG, it has to be an SVG. And where do you get these files? Uh, well, you can download them from the internet, uh, or you can make your own using programs like Affinity Designer or Photoshop. Uh, I won't go into that, because that's kind of a whole other thing, but it's not hard to do to make your own designs. Uh, but there's plenty of them out there on the internet that you can find. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this button right here. It's got a stop sign and it's slightly raised up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the side panel and make sure I've got my uh, button top selected, right click it, hit add part, and then go down to SVG. And you can select the file that you wanna use and hit open. And so you can see our, our stop signs there now. And for whatever reason, they don't allow you to center SVGs, so if it's not in the center, you can grab the little yellow dot and just drag and drop it and try to get it as close as you can. And for whatever reason, this menu system is really finicky. Uh, what I found the easiest way to change the, the size is just to hit the edit button and type in a number. Uh, so let's see, let's change this to 50 millimeters and that looks fine. We'll keep it there. And remember, it's still just printing on the top, so we wanna embed it slightly into the, the switch. So we're gonna change the from surface to actually be a negative number so that it embeds into the switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit that, and let's do two layer lines again, so now it'll, it's gonna be negative 0.32 millimeters. All right, and now our depth is still kind of big. I don't need it to be that tall. So we can go up here to depth and I can change uh, the size of the depth to whatever I want. One millimeter is totally fine. And that's pretty much it. Let's make sure we're kind of eyeball it here and get it nice in the center, something like that. It's kind of hard to tell. You might have to play around with it a little bit, but this is good to go. All right, so don't forget to change your filament type and we'll just change it to black. And now we can go ahead and hit slice. And you can see that we've got our stop sign that is slightly raised up off the surface. 
And now let's make it so that it's flush with the surface. So it's gonna be pretty similar to what we did with the text. We're gonna go over to the side panel, right click our SVG and change the type and change it from part to modifier. Go ahead and hit okay. Now we remember we only had it at two layer lines. We let's say we wanted at four. So we need to get back into the SVG editor to do that. We can right click on our SVG and hit edit SVG. All right, and now we can change our from surface to, so we want it at four layer lines deep. That'd be negative 0.64 millimeters. All righty, so now if we hit slice, you can see it's flush with the top. And if we, we can use the slider to kind of see different depths inside our model, you can see that it about four layer lines deep, it starts printing. So that's exactly what we wanted. And in an hour and 36 minutes, we'll have our stop sign button. All right, so that's pretty much it. You know, really easy to customize your own switch top, really make it personable. Uh, and it's a clear representation of what the button does. So really helpful for things like communication devices, things like that. Uh, so many use cases. Uh, we've had a lot of people request uh, this video, so I'm glad that we're finally doing it. Uh, we'd love to see what you guys come up with. So if you do this and uh, you come up with something cool, uh, take a picture of it, post it on social media and tag us. We're at Switch Adapted Toys on pretty much all the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, we'd love to see what you guys come up with. And again, Switch Adapted Toys is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and our mission is to make play possible for kiddos of all abilities. I encourage you to check out our website, www.switchtoys.org. That's kind of our home base for every all of our resources, all of our, our videos are up there. Uh, we've got even like a really cool classroom where you can kind of learn about Switch Adapted Toys, and we're adding new things to that website all the time. So check that out. And if you've got a group or an organization and you want to adapt toys kind of on a bigger scale for kids in your community, you could form what we call a switch chapter. And we kind of help walk you through that process uh, so that you can uh, provide them free of charge to kids in your community. And on our website too, there's a map where you can find where all of our uh, switch chapters are located. So you can go on there, find one local to you and get connected and get plugged in that way. Lastly, if you're interested in a switch adapted toy, but doing it yourself seems a little daunting, or maybe you don't have access to a 3D printer to make your own switch button, uh, we sell pre-adapted toys and switch buttons on our website. Uh, all the proceeds help go back to making these resources, and uh, we try to offer them at reasonable prices. We think it's ridiculous to have to pay $120 just for a simple toy for your child to play with. So that's kind of the whole mission of Switch Adapted Toys. So if uh, you're interested in picking one up that's already adapted and helping Switch along the way, uh, you can visit our website. Again, www.switchtoys.org, and I'll put a link to everything down below. Well, I think that's it. Uh, I'm Eric with Switch Adapted Toys, and we'll see you next time. Switch Adapted Toys, making play possible.